I get the phone call from my son's preschool the other day. Oh, you know, coronavirus, this, that, the other thing we want to be careful with, closing down the school. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And, like, tears are rolling out of my eyes. And I'm like, well, okay, as long as they're safe. Uh, you got to understand something. I get two days off a week. Tuesday and Saturday. My son goes to school on Tuesday, 8 o'clock in the morning to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Five hours. Five. Pre I, I love my son, but it's five precious hours. So what I've been doing is I've been doing the show at around 8.15 in the morning. Oh, my God. I'm like... So Tuesday was my day to sleep late. Every morning I wake up at 3 o'clock. So Tuesday's my day to sleep late. That has vanished. Uh, this could only happen to me. It could only happen to me. So now... You gotta understand something. When I wake up in the morning, if my son wakes up, that's it. We don't got a show. You understand? Once he wakes up, it's over. I can't come out here. So now, I, I, the, the, the level of stress that I have coming out here to do this show is is unthinkable. Now, when I wake up in the morning, I'm walking on eggshells, and it's almost like when you try to be quiet. It creates like a tension in the air. Does anybody ever experience this? And then everybody wakes up! So I'm like, alright. Get the equipment ready. You know, the Hollywood, you know, boom microphone ready that's gonna fuck me tender. I swear to Christ, the more, the, the more expensive equipment it is, the more likely it is to fail. That's just how life goes. I'm better off just coming out here with a cell phone at this point. I go, I feed the dog. My dog has this new thing. He eats out of a metal dish. Now when he gets done with the metal dish, now I'm over here fumbling to make coffee. Hey, eyes half closed. The dog eats his food, then he takes the dish, and he goes trotting into the middle of the hardwood floor. I don't know what. And then he slams the dish on the floor. Bang, dang, dang, dang! It's a... And then I gotta do, I gotta do the whisper yell at him. And then he looks at me, and then he, now the dish is flipped over, so now it's upside down, like a flying saucer. He looks at me, and then he puts his nose to the end of the dish, and he takes off running. Now the, the dish is going across the floor, it sounds like the fucking, the Concord is landing in my living room now across the floor. I'm like, oh my Christ. That's all I need. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I need this coffee bed. Oh my god. What am I doing here? Blah. Callahan. <sighs> Reporting for duty.
Bang. I got people texting me. Do you think we're going to be all right? I work in one of the big box stores. So now all of a sudden I'm like a, a b barometer for everybody's a coronavirus panic. Do you think we're going to be okay? I said, I don't know about you. I'm going to be just fine. I love it. I love it. I'm, the I'm waiting for the quarantine. It'll be the most delightful part of my life. What? what uh, I got to stay inside? Oh, oh, what? I, everybody's running to the grocery store. I'm running to the liquor store. It's going to be, listen, I, I got to see you right now. All you fat pigs out there. Okay. Including myself. There's not an American I know. That can't go. This is. I'm gonna. This is good. This quarantine is gonna be called the Great American Crash Diet. There's not a, an American I know out there that can't go 30 days without food. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. We're gonna be looking great after this. All you need is water, and it comes out of the tap. I got news for you right now. People don't know this. All you need is about a, a dozen cans of cat food and a box of saltine crackers. And you could live about 12 years. Oh, yeah. And a, and a Listen, you can, go, you can go months without eating. All you need is water. You can go only go, like, what, three days without water? You, that's what people don't realize. The human body can go months without eating. Yeah. Just pa have, like, a bottle of vitamins. Okay? Which is something nobody's buying. That's all you need. A bottle of vitamins. You know, vitamins and minerals and water. That's it. Yeah. And you'll look fantastic. When you when this is all said and done, you'll look like Mr. Olympia. Just in time for the summer. The greatest thing that ever happened. Oh, please. I sit home. Here's, here's, here's the plan. Sit home, Jack and Cokes, play Final Fa the original Final Fantasy VII all the way through until the remake comes out. Great! Terrific! Refresh your memory. It couldn't be any better. You know what? Roll the theme song, will you? Oh. Kiss and the ice cream lick. Oh, I begged, I begged. Easy on my balls, the fragile as eggs. <laughs> Pop, how you coming up? Yeah, on the next side of tight shit. Right? Must go more fast. Oh, yeah. 1994, baby. Where were you? Here. 
this one coming all the way from Delaware. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Delaware. Everybody forgets about Delaware and Rhode Island, right? We all forget about Delaware and Rhode Island, right? There were some founding fathers in this area, weren't there? I don't know. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Bulging like Bithead's enormous NES collection. How about that? That's right. That's about the only thing that's bulging around here lately. Let's go. Oh, where's my switchblade? Oh! It's inside. It's in. I. I. Uh, I want to wake up my son. All right. All right. Exacto knife. Shot a cap gun for Delaware. coming at you. Oh, we got a note here. We got a note. Every time I do the editing, I, got, I have like a disgusting booger up my nose. I know. I'm trying. I trimmed the nose hair. I don't know what's going on up there. It's a wonder I don't have coronavirus. I love picking my nose. Yeah. And I'm to that age now that when I'm I stopped at a red light and there's like two people on either side of me, I'm picking my nose. I just don't care anymore. I'm like, I'll never see these people again. How you doing? Yeah. What? Uh, no. All right. Here's a little something to say thanks for all the entertainment you provide your subscribers. No need for... What a penmanship. What a penmanship. No need for a note longer than that. Keep creating the best goddamn video game slash a life lessons program in the history of human civilization. And you better believe that. 4K face. Anyway. Justin. Oh, Justin, yes. T T two R X six. Right, right. We know Justin. Uh, P S. Uh, did you remember D D E was Delaware this time? Yeah, I did. Out of here. I, I never screwed up Delaware, did I? Uh, what did I say, Denver? Uh, okay. Hey, listen. Yeah, I know you were top of your class. You know what? Get off my back. I know, everybody's a genius. Yeah, let me see what a genius... You get, you get in front of this camera, we'll see what kind of genius you are. What do we got here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I'm taking them out. You're gonna see it first. Here we go. Oh, what is this? Battle Princess Madeline.
You guys are killing me. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, look at these graphics. You know, listen, I, I, PS, here's uh, the words I'm going to tell you. PS4, side-scrolling, pixelated graphics, hard on! I'm loving it. I'm loving this PS4. I'm telling you right now, PS5, it's not coming out before Christmas. Let's face it. Okay? I can't, restaurants and bars are closed. Casinos are closed. All right? PlayStation Factory closed. Not before Christmas. I could care the fuck less. I got my PS4. Keep cranking them out. Love this PS4. Love it. Oh, yeah. Ten levels, five stages each. They're replayable. No starting over, unless you want to. Four modes. Bob, Bob, Bob. Hidden collectible. Zing, zang, zoo. You're the princess. Battle princess. Be precise. Pixel perfect. Retro side scroll. I'm in. I'm in. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Start the quarantine now. I'm ready. This is all I need. Stardew Valley, Collector's Edition. What the heck is this? The, you inherited your grandmother's, your grandfather's old farm plot in Stardew Valley, armed with a hand-me-down tools, a few coins, and you set out to begin your new life. Okay. Okay. Wow, look at the graphics on this. Very reminiscent of uh, a link to the past almost, right? Yes? No? But the graphics are on the front. Yeah, look at that. Pixel graphics. What are we? What are we, What's going on here? Yeah. I'm in. I'm so. Let me tell you something. I'm so grateful, uh, you know, to guys like Dario that sent us Valve Harris and, uh, and Dead Cells. Experiencing new games is a really big thrill. Creating new memories, you know. Just this time in my life where my son is this age and, you know, he's trying things out. The dog's running around, breaking everybody's balls. You know, these are the things I'm... Did you play us another tune? Reminds me, yeah, uh, I know. Eighty-six year old fell down. Yeah, I know. Okay, big, big news. Yeah, and I, and and I, I walked outside and I got the mail out of the mailbox. Anything else? Oh my God! It reminds me of the uh, remember James Bond, 
Which one was it? With Jaws. Remember when Jaws is chasing James Bond? And uh, James Bond's with the girl and they hop in the van. And the girl starts the van and she goes to drive it. And she starts banging the gears around. <laughs> <laughs> She's banging the gears around and it's like <laughs> And James Bond calls a cucumber Roger Moore, best James Bond of all time. He goes, Could you play another tune? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh Roger Moore. Sip of coffee for Roger Moore. Oh my god, I remember having this argument at work with this clown. Telling me how uh, Sean Connery's better than Roger Moore. Please. I should have took him outside and made a man out of him. It's impossible. It's impossible. Here we go. Oh my God, Justin, what these are? What what treasures? What was this? Not sure if you have. These, if so, sell them, smash them, use them to play frisbee with your kid. Yes, yes, we do. Wow, uh, and what a fantastic collection of Sega Genesis games! So, thank you for giving me the option to do uh, what I'd like with this one because what I'd like to do is uh, first person to email me their address, I'll send this to them. What is it? Bye. Bye. Bond, Jesse Bond. Hey, how ironic. Six, Bond, Jesse Bond, 61 at gmail.com. First person to email me their address, I'll send it your way. Okay. That's great. That's great. Wow, Justin. Uh, this is just the kind of stuff I like, man. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Thank you very much. Sip of coffee for Justin. Oh, Jesus, there's more. Feels like a Nintendo game, okay, if my braille is correct. I, I love it when I go to, 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 the, uh, to the playground, okay? And they have... You know, little doodads that you turn, like, like playgrounds are on a whole new level now. You go there, you turn a crank, all these gears turn. I'm like mesmerized. I'm like, son, go go play on the uh, slide over there so I can uh, turn the gears. I, I want to play. Anyhow, you go there, they got the, the alphabet set up over there. But on the other side, they have it in Braille. I got fucking news for you right now. What kind, what kind of fucking son of a bitch is going to bring a blind kid to the goddamn uh, playground? Can we stop it already? Oh, yeah, go run around. Go find the Braille alphabet while you're here. Yeah. The, and, and, and the playground is more treacherous than it's ever been. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's like a, a, there's a drawbridge. There's, there's a suspension bridge. You want to know the saddest part of it all? The poorer the neighborhood, the shittier the playground. I mean, this is just how life goes. Me and my son, we drive into the rich neighborhood. They got a playground. It's like fucking great adventure. It's like they got like it's literally there's like a roller coaster thing that you hang on to and it goes down. It's like this uh, zip line. You have no idea. You know what? What a tragedy. What a tragedy. You go into the poor neighborhood, it's like, you know, I don't know, cigarette butts all over the floor. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> you know, you got the you got rusty rusty swings. You're pushing your son, it's like, eh, uh, eh, uh. I don't know. Here we go. I'm not looking. You're looking. Who's looking? You are. What do we got? I can feel it. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, there's the label. What is it, guys? I don't know. I don't know. I'm the last to know. I'm always the last to know! Oh! 
shit! Are you kidding me? Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I do a quick wiring here. I do a quick wiring here. And all of a sudden... And all of a sudden... I do a quick wiring here, and we have an Operation Wallet Buster! Shot a cap gun for Contraforce. Okay, here we are right here. Wow, look at this grouping. I mean, it makes you wonder about life. Okay. Cross that one off the list, yes. Contraforce. All right, not the best X I ever drew, but hey, ladies and gentlemen, picture, picture time. face <laughs> oh man Justin you're killing me here look at that that's fantastic that's uh, that's our font bidhead 1000 would you look at that oh my god that's class that is class Contra Force, wow, look at that. Oh, it's a beauty. Oh, yeah. It's a beauty. Look, this guy, what is the guy doing? Throwing bombs out of a helicopter? In the city streets, what are those? Those are, those are A-10 Warthogs flying overhead? Oh, yeah. All hell's breaking loose. This guy's got a, this guy's got a, uh, uh, a flamethrower on his back? Oh, my God. One of my favorite album covers of all time was um, remember, remember Iron Maiden had the singles. I would get them on cassette tape because it was $7.99. Oh, I used to love getting the singles. And the, the one was Flight of Icarus. Remember, remember the cover was, I remember, I remember seeing a teenager with the shirt and I was like, oh my God. 
this is the coolest thing ever. It was Eddie, it was Eddie, Eddie Maiden with the, oh, oh yes. It was Icarus flying toward the sun, but Eddie Maiden was uh, shooting a flamethrower at him. <laughs> <laughs> right? Eddie, Eddie Maiden had like bat wings or something like that. And he was, he melted Icarus's wings with a flamethrower. I'm like, this is the greatest fucking piece of artwork I've ever seen in my life. Derek Riggs! Sip of coffee. Derek Riggs. Konami people, I never played Contra Force. Let's give it a rip. I get these blaring lights out of my face. Oh yeah. It works. It works. It works. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Here we go. Let's get you into position. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we are. Oh come on, we don't want to we don't want to miss the two Retron 5 washes. Yeah, that's one. Here we go. One more, please. Great job, programmers. We're all set here. Unknown cartridge. Oh, don't do this to me, baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Play, but we'll play anyhow, right? We can do that. But we can try anyhow. Does it have to be a known cartridge? Warning is cartridge is not recognized by the Retron 5. Ah. Ah. Do you wish to continue and attempt to run it? Yes. Yes, I do. Matter of fact. Okay. Alrighty. To no avail. Oh! Oh! Neo City. Is it 1992? Oh, look at the look at the ladder the uh yeah the anterior deltoids. I'm in. Look at the forearms, like Rambo. Okay, enough of your nonsense. Oh yeah, Konami music in tow. Let's go to Neo City, people. That's my last name! I guess so. Oh, yeah. We're in the harbor. Are we gonna jump? Shoot up. Yes, okay. Look at the way the arms move when he shoots. I love it. Here we go. Yes. Wait a second. Oh. I knew he was a wily character. Here we go. Shot him in midair. Hey, asshole. We're going to take our time. We're going here. Oh, these guys are raising hell over here. Oh, no, you don't. Okay. I know the situation. Ow! Damn it! Oh! Take that, bitch. Okay, alright. Alright. Come on, I ducked! I'm supposed to go through this door. Right in the legs. Suitcase. Ah! Where are we going? Hey, bitch. There you go. Where are we going? In here? Oh, shit. Come on. What music? What music? Okay, hold on. Hold on. I got this. I got this. I'm crying out loud. All right. 
out of here, bitch. Out of here. Oh, yeah, look at him go. Let's wreck these crates. I got the suitcase. God knows what it does. Out of here, bitch. Here we go. Yes. Up and over. Look at that. You. Alright, can somebody give me a weapon? Oh! Fucking forklift? Oh yeah. Who's inside? Oh, oh, oh! Okay. Out of here! <laughs> yeah, baby! Oh, bazooka! here oh gotta have it oh yes please contra all the way come on let me show you how it's done please ready I know I'm timing it I'm in I'm in ah! all right god damn it you get the picture. I mean, I, you know, listen, we got another package over here, but how do you top that? Guys, guys, guys. Just, how do you top that? How do you top that? You don't. So out of respect for Justin, we end the show right here. Thank you, Justin. Wow. What a... That was an amazing package. Amazing. Really. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sip of coffee for Justin. Guys, do you know that you just tuned into the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization? <laughs>